Hey guys, what's going on? Coach Justin here from Ultimate Baseball Training. And in today's video, I wanted to share with you three simple but effective drills for youth players. Now, I'm a big believer in we have to keep things fun, right? Especially for the younger players out there. This is a game. 99% of you on this channel are not getting paid to play. So whether you're a little league player all the way up high school, college, you have to be having fun. And so all three of these drills, I think they're a lot of fun. You can make a competition out of it but at the same time they're gonna get you better right they're gonna instill fundamentally sound fielding mechanics that are gonna transfer to real on-field success in games so without further ado let's just jump into these three drills All right, the very first drill is the goalie drill. You're gonna need two cones. So I set up a cone right here and a cone right here. Now these are only about five or six yards apart right now. And you'll have to experiment depending on the age of the players, their experience level, how quick they are, all of that. But what we're gonna do, again, the goalie game is we're gonna have a player or you can have a group of players uh, and, and form teams and make it a competition, but they're gonna start with their heels on this line here okay and just like a hockey goalie or a soccer goalie they can't let anything behind them right otherwise it's a point for the other team we're going to take that same approach and apply it to this drill so you can have a coach either fungo ground balls or just throw ground balls to players right but they're going to start with their heels right here right in the middle of the cones again Experiment with the distance. They're gonna get into a ready position and then you're just gonna start either firing them rapid fire ground balls or hitting them rapid fire fungos. Now, you wanna make sure that they're not just all easy plays right at them, right? We wanna hit them backhands. We wanna hit them forehands. We wanna hit them two forehands in a row and then one right in the middle and then one backhand. So not only are we incorporating this uh, into a competitive setting, not only are we having fun, but we're working on making different plays, right? So we're working on our forehand, our footwork and our, our glove work, working on our backhand footwork and glove work, working on diving plays, right? This is a situation where, you know, let's say game's on the line, you have to knock the ball down and make a play. There's two outs. If you knock the ball down and you get up and you make the play, game's over, you win. That's the same mentality that we're gonna bring to this drill. So the goalie drill, lots of fun, love this drill. All right, the next drill is the recovery drill. And let's face it, our goal as an infielder, right, is we wanna field every single ground ball hit to us, we wanna field it cleanly, and we wanna make the play. The problem is this is the game of baseball, right? It's a game of failure. It's a game of making adjustments and bad things are gonna happen. So we're gonna have tough hops. We're gonna not field the ball cleanly sometimes. And so what do we do on those particular plays? Do we just let the runner keep running and not make the play, not recover and let him be safe? No, obviously we're gonna recover, we're gonna to get to our throwing position and we're still gonna get that guy if at all possible, right? So what this drill is gonna encourage you to do and teach you how to do is recover after the ball took a bad hop, okay? I always preach get your butt back and have a flat back instead of butt down. Uh, and this drill, you know, if we're in proper uh, fielding position and we have our butt back, uh, we have a flat back and we're fielding the baseball, then the ball's not gonna take a bad hop and hit us in the face, it's gonna hit us in the chest and it's gonna bounce in front of us and we're gonna have to go and recover and make that play. So this is the way the drill works. So you need a baseball and you are going to start in a fielding position. So remember our footwork has to be right, left, we're fielding the baseball, we're funneling it in and then right, left throw. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get down in our fielding position, act like we are you know, getting ready to field the baseball and then the last second it takes a bad hop, it hits us off the chest. So we're gonna get down like this and we're gonna literally throw the ball off of our chest and then from there, we are gonna recover. And most of the time you're gonna be recovering with your bare hand unless the ball is still moving. But that's, that's the entire drill. So you get down in fielding position, you can do this drill anywhere. You can do it in your living room, in your garage, backyard, at the field, whatever. Get down in fielding position, toss the ball off, recover, make the play. And you're not tossing the ball off your chest the exact same spot every single time. Sometimes you wanna to toss it to the left, sometimes to the right, and make it do different things. That way it's more realistic, okay? So I'm in my ready position, boom, off my chest over here get into my ready position, ready to throw to first base. Okay, right, left, boom, boom. And we're working on also getting a four seam grip because that's gonna allow for our truest ball flight. So right, left, boom, recover, get ready to make the play. This last drill I like to call two cone kickover. What we're gonna do is we're gonna place these cones about five yards apart again. And this drill is gonna encourage young players to 
do the proper footwork, that right left field the baseball and then right left go through the baseball. But it's right left catch, right left throw, and a lot of players struggle with this. They don't do that right left thing, they just run up to the baseball and then stop. So this drill is gonna get them into a good fielding position and get their momentum going towards their target. So we are gonna start, and this is for obviously a right-handed thrower, right? Um, so we're gonna start at this left cone here. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna kick our feet over, kick over, so my left foot literally kicks my right foot, and we're gonna come over, we're gonna to touch this cone here. When we touch this cone, we're gonna stay low the entire time. When we touch this cone, we're then gonna kick over back this way. So you'll notice my footwork is right left. And then, one more time, right left, and I get into my fielding position. So that's really simulating that right left catch and then once you make the play act like you field the baseball act like you funnel it in then you can even add right left and get in position to throw to your target. So again starting low here starting behind this cone we go right left get into our ready position kick over kick over touch this cone kick over kick over field the baseball get into a throwing position. Hope you enjoyed today's video and before you go i actually want to share with you my free velocity hacks this is three hacks that are guaranteed to take your throwing velocity to that next level right now today all you have to do to grab these velocity hacks just click on the very first link below this video in the description that'll take you to my website i just need your email address and then i'll immediately fire those velocity hacks your way if you enjoyed this video leave a thumbs up be sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video we're coming out with new videos every single week and also get in the comments section. Let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.